Here we are with uh, another Octane Vectron tutorial and this time I want to create a really simple scene uh, just a fractal, some fog and some light so it will be like a studio uh, setup first we need to create our Vectron object and I want to use a Uber bulb setup so just select that I'm not going to tweak all parameters here this time so just focus on the on the light and on the fog um, I want to rotate the fractal a bit so something like this I did many uh, many loops with this with this way okay we should be centered and let's stick the camera so um, we, we we can't move around now but now you can and when you click this button here you the camera will always face the fractal and I want to change the focal length to something like 300 and move back the camera all right then I want to change the background color to something like black full black so we need a texture environment and set the RGB spectrum to black of course we don't see because there's no light source but if you switch to normal kernel here or also if you want uh, there's ambient shadow here amb ambient occlusion so you can you can see all the details of our fractal uh, then we need some light so octane array light and we want this light to always face the fractal so to do that we just need a cinema 4d tags called target and in the target object just select the vectron now we can move this light something like that let's duplicate this light and change the view here to perspective so we can freely move our light um, I want to have one light from the right side and one from the bottom like that let's go back to our daylight sorry dire direct light kernel and we can see that we have some nice shadow and um, some also some light coming from the bottom bottom we can change the temperature of that one and let's change also the temperature of the right one something more cold like blue and what we can do is create also another light so let's duplicate this one and put that just behind our vector object like this and now it's a little boring so what we can add is a fog volume so you can create octane fog volume here in the object menu and we want the volume to be perfectly centered on the fractal so we don't waste the render time by making the volume too big and to do that I usually set the volume as child of the octane camera and um, reset the coordinates to zero also the angle and now the camera is 
uh, sorry, the volume is at the same position of the camera as you can see here and we can just move our volume until it uh, hits the fractal like that and of course this volume is too small but if you try to change the scale here you have to be careful because uh, Octane is not going to be very happy if you increase that too much. So just by safety, uh, increase the voxel size here. Just a little bit. And make the volume the same size of your, of your screen, of your image format. And the volume needs to be more thick, something like that. All right. And the volume is uh, is making is absorbing light so uh, we don't we don't see a lot of light on the fractal to do that to improve that we can decrease the medium density here and also increase the light uh, power let's try 300 and see what's happening Let's change the position of this one. All right, there we go. And also the blue one, this one. and increase the power of that 300 also for this one we can also change the the, the scattering phase here all right too much This is really slow to calculate when you when you have a volume we can increase the volume step length here so this is uh, this will be faster and also looks uh, way better actually you should do this first and let's move the orange light again I don't like the too much light here Okay, that's cool. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can also have some uh, god rays and to do that you have to decrease the, the, the light size so the outer radius should be smaller and as you can see you have some uh, some more thin rays coming but that's that takes a lot of time and I prefer to do that in After Effects so let's keep that around 80 mm, and this one around 
the half then in your octane camera you can make some uh, improvements without um, using without using uh, after effects you can just make some changes here with the camera imager you can change the the loot we can remove all those little dots by changing the hot pixel removal here you can just decrease that And another thing I want to do is move the volume a bit more closer to the camera, so... Alright. Then what we can do is enable the spectral AI denoiser, just double click here and you will see that a new button here appears so uh, even if your render is noisy um, when it's finished you can click the D main button here and you will see the uh, denoise image directly in octane so let's just wait for that and we can also enable some uh, post-processing so you can change the bloom we need maybe to refre refresh Octane oops the camera moved I don't know how alright uh, you can enable the bloom like that and set some cutoff let's just finish for this render maybe I'll go full screen and path tracing because it's just better so set the GI clamp to 1 and the max samples to something like 300 So it took uh, three minutes and you can see the denoised image and the original one. So Octane did a pretty good job on that denoise, uh, on that noisy background, as you can see. And you can save the image just by clicking show in picture viewer, like that, and then save as uh, image you can pick up your favorite format and just select the location and save it so this is a really quick way to make a um, uh, interesting render but now we could play a little bit with uh, different materials on the same fractal as always so to do that I'm going to create um, I'm going to disable the volume and also all the light because I want to focus on the shape of those um, sorry on the on the materials and this is the quickest way to render that so I want some black material something like uh, a glossy black material let's create that so diffuse I need a glossy one and set the diffuse to something around here with some blue in it like that and some roughness just a little bit come on octane okay and I also want to create um, a gold material let's create a octane material and uh, this time I need a metallic one the diffuse will be just a yellow gold material so 
I'm just eyeballing that and the specular also needs to be kind of gold like that in the roughness map we can um, use an image texture so cinema 4d blah 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 and image texture here I'm going to select um, a dirt map you can just google google uh, dirt here we have our um, our map and we need to change the projection to a box because it's not working um, will not work like with uh, UV, UV mapping objects sorry it's not going to work like standard objects because it's uh, a fractal and uh, let's just apply this gold material to our Vectron object and see what we have here and decrease increase the ray epsilon so we can see how our roughness map is working or is not all right not really working well it takes more time to set up that uh, but what we can do now is create a new mix material and sorry I said create a new octane mix material and put the first material here and the second there all right let's apply this mix and uh, now we need an amount here which will be our uh, famous gradient octane gradient uh, blah 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 where is that gradient and then uh, let's open the node editor actually it's faster and then we need delete the float texture and apply a, an OSL gradient so uh, here we don't need all those this kind of gradients so just set this to black and leave a little just a little stripe of white so we have some gold detail here we can also change the angle of our OSL gradient so you can get the gold where just where you want and if this angle is not enough you can change the the U scale in the Vectron object so let's try to decrease that or increase okay I like this kind of uh, gold detail here mm, I don't know which one I prefer Yeah, let's stick with this one all right let's see um, how it looks like with uh, volume back and uh, with all our lights so it's way too dark this means that this material here is too dark or uh, uh, we don't have enough light coming in let's try first to change this color here all right and also change the environment let's try to set that to a more gray more white okay that's cool and some less medium so decrease the density of that 
and you have a nice render here well not my best one of course but it's uh, kind of cool so and it's easy to do so uh, we can improve a little bit the the roughness on this one I want some reflection here all right then we can add some uh, depth of field some vignetting here and you can play with the saturation of course but just don't abuse the saturation like that you can change the, the loot and I want also to edit the phase here so a little more all right that's cool just last refinement and let's add a depth of field so increase the aperture and switch to normal kernel so you can see what's happening in real time I'm going to pick up our focal point here and increase the aperture a lot more now oh, this is not working well because um, because of the focal length but it's all right just a little bit all right I'm just going for a beauty render, but this is pretty much it. And there you have your nice render of a gold and black uh, mandelbab. And this took me just one minute to render.